Why isn't everyone boycotting the World Cup? I'm not a football fan and I'm really confused about the World Cup happening right now. With Qatar's well-documented human rights violations, bribery, treatment of fans and journalists, etc., why are any clubs and fans still participating? Because people don't think them not watching it is going to make a difference because everyone else is. A boycott would have only worked in a real sense if the players or the teams decided to sit it out but that's never going to happen. Dissociation. I don't care how it got there, I just like watching soccer. NFL could hire slave labor for the Super Bowl and people would still watch. I'm not a football fan why isn't everyone boycotting the World Cup? Oh I for sure am boycotting the only way I can by not watching. Because not everyone has the same priorities, not everyone shares the same causes. It's not because they are bad or agree with it, but because we all choose our battles. You see, Maradona said once the ball can't be tainted, meaning that, despite all the corruption, all the polemic, all the problems you can find in football, the game as a whole, will still hold true to its essence, yes it sounds poetic and doesn't justify anything, but people likes football too much, there is reason for why is the most popular sport in the world. It was known for 10 years that Qatar was going to host there's been plenty of time for boycotting yet here we are. Because we are all for human rights, and shit until it slightly inconveniences us. We want to watch football so fuck them poor schmucks. Sounds harsh but it is what it is. It is sad what us humans get used to. I think a lot of people have seen so much abuse that they are desensitized to it. Why aren't people not watching the biggest sporting event in the world over problems that aren't unique to the current host? Because it's the biggest sporting event in the world and most people aren't overly worried about the circumstances surrounding things like the World Cup. I mean, Nazi Germany hosted the Olympics lol. The World Cup is too big an event to give a shit about politics. They just look past it and watch the matches. It seems that nearly everything big the Super Bowl, the Olympics, the World Cup, large construction projects, and huge value corporations like Apple, Nestle, Amazon, and Tesla, can't operate without being the non-war equivalent of a war crime. We should be outraged about the World Cup, and we should be outraged by many other things for the same reasons, but there's only so much you can be mad. At before it becomes overwhelming and numbing. Most people are interested in the football and not the politics. If you're worried about human rights abuses why stop at Qatar? Are you by chance posting this with an electronic device that was maybe made in China? A country that has a long history of human rights violations. Why aren't you boycotting electronics? Have you by chance bought chocolate at some point in your life? Chocolate. The industry that has something like a 80 slavery and child slavery at that involvement. People are spotty about their values when it complicates their lives. And world football is too big to let a little thing like ethics disturb it. I don't know, why aren't people boycotting every other atrocity, especially in your own countries? As a matter of fact why are you specifically commenting on this one? You clearly can't care about all, no one can, so is it because it's famous or because you think Qatar commits the most atrocities? And mind you not excusing Qatar, but answering your motivation should be a simple task. Most of the world doesn't give a shit. Most people continue to use products after boycotts. Just because it's popular in the circles you frequent doesn't mean it's a widespread opinion. Cognitive dissonance I've been accidentally boycotting the World Cup my whole life. Can't boycott what I wasn't going to watch in the first place shrug hashtag hash. I just love the game dude. 1. Because a lot of people love football. 2. Because almost every country in the world has documented human rights violations, war crimes and corruption, at some point. Same reason you're probably wearing clothes made in a poor country with awful labor laws. Human apathy has allowed the lowest bidder to provide the only show in town on several things, world football and retail clothing among them. What do you mean why isn't anyone boycotting the World Cup? 
here in the US we are leading the charge in boycotting it. Source we're mostly not actually aware what the World Cup is. I mean, I boycott Amazon for similar reasons, but I hypocritically paid for a Prime membership this year just to watch Rings of Power. I realize how hypocritical that is, but I made the choice that entertainment for me in the short term was worth it. I bet many are the same regarding the World Cup. Why doesn't the world boycott watching the Super Bowl with the America's horrible treatment of minorities and police brutality, Guantanamo prison, and bombings in the Middle East? Most people are only willing to actually boycott things as opposed to just virtue signaling about it that would be of little to no consequence inconvenience for them. Someone who isn't a big soccer fan would have no problems continuing to not be a big soccer fan, but someone who is will have a rough time with this. Famous people because of money. Not famous people because famous people are not boycotting. Edit formatting. Don't know if people will agree with me or not but my view on it is I can't change what happens in Qatar, I focus my efforts on changing my local communities and province, blows my mind that people who won't so much as pick up a piece of trash around their hood will scream about Qatar. I also feel if the human rights violations bug you so much, you best toss out those brand name sneakers, the brand name shirts, and your jewelry. I just saw the documentary FIFA uncovered yesterday and looked into the migrant labor issue known as the Kafala system and it's horrific. I can't look at anything in the Gulf without seeing the blood of the people who died to build those things. These were real people with dreams, hopes, hearts, families, people who were taken advantage of all to produce grandiose. Gaudy entertainment. It's dystopian. Most people actually don't care about the stuff they say they do. They pretend to be outraged over things to look good or virtue signal but in reality they don't really care. That and money. I am boycotting, fuck FIFA F-U-C-K Qatar. But also I'm really bored of football. Because literally it just politics, in Iran, our people are dying in the streets and any players who dares to support people will be prosecuted and banned from football. While, supposedly our national team are made of dudes who basically are jokers of Islamic Republic propaganda. I live in Germany and there is a good portion of football fans not watching this time. Pub owners decide not to stream it, even though they took a hit in Corona. I'm interviews fans say, they don't have to watch BC the female league is slaying right now so they can just continue to watch that. Don't care about football but that made me happy. I am boycotting it. Just like I did with all last World Cups. Because most nations are corrupt. Did you boycott any events in the US when they butchered over 300k innocent civilians while conducting a war based on a lie? Because I want to watch football. Also, fuck off, yank. It shouldn't be up to the average person to deal with this, the World Cup is every four years and you're punishing yourself by not watching the peak of the football calendar, it never should have been given to them in the first place that's on FIFA. Most of us just want to watch the football that is going to be played whether we boycott or not. This is all on FIFA fuck FIFA for doing this. But I'm just going to enjoy the football but I am hoping the fallout is huge. Why isn't everyone boycotting Amazon? Why isn't everyone boycotting fast fashion? Do you see people boycott the World Cup in the US despite all the human rights violations and a rich history of killing civilians via drones and bombs and then prosecuting journalists for revealing those war crimes? Only hegemonic Americans can be so blinded to their own crimes against humanity and point fingers at others. Just look at the last 20 years, no other country, beside the US, has killed so many civilians e.g. over 100k in Iraq alone. As for HR violations, there is also Guantanamo Bay and putting kids up for adoption after deporting their parents. I boycott, but I'm not sure it counts as boycotting if I was never going watch any soccer in the first place. Because I like sports and I want to be entertained. USA hosts the World Cup in 2026. We use prisons effectively as slave labor. People don't give a shit they just want to enjoy some soccer. As fucked as it sounds that's the truth of it. Because it's football. 
Yes what's happened is bad but that's not going to stop the event from happening and it's not like every sporting event has corruption behind it.